okay yesterday class we have discussed about like the concept of uh, like we have discussed about table how we are going to add the different different table style then we have discussed regarding this uh, form designing and the opacity z index and overflow right today we going to discuss some important topic uh, regarding this position then we will go talking on the font and we'll discuss about the external stuff <clears throat> let's go and start with position okay before going into position i want to show you one image just see that image and uh, i will explain this image in depth what is a position okay this is a uh, this is a one of the best topic in css you have to know all these things position you have to know what is a position in like earlier days we have discussed about the margin padding and uh, all these things right means from this left from the browser sorry from the browser the left hand side this left hand side this is margin left margin top <coughs> margin right and margin bottom right the same way there is a concept called position what is a position you have to know that in a browser okay in a browser if you want to put anything in the inside a browser you need a concept of position just imagine i will say that what is the position of this this facebook icon we can say that from left this is from some some distance from top some distance from right some distance and from bottom some distance means everything you can see in this page is belongs to one coordinates right means let me simplify this one if you are going to add anything any element inside this html page in any of the html page there is a position they have to set means each and everything is belongs to one one position means just example this icon this square icon right suppose in this square icon what will happen you, you have to uh, specify what is the position of this one you can say there is a left some distance top some distance right some distance bottom some distance okay. each and every element in the, in html there should be coordinates that coordinates we are talking as a position means if you want to place anything in html like browser is automatically adding some position to that specific element it may be an image it may be a text it may be anything into the html now in that case css giving different different type of position that you can align your align your element example yesterday we discussed you can see that this is one of the element right this is one of the div or anything that i have placed this is from left 0 0% means there is no left and from sorry from left it's a 100% and the right it's a 0% top it should be it's means so just imagine it will be let me show that this one only we'll, we'll calculate okay you can see this is the position if you go down you can see that it's saying its margin from position it will be left some percentage left is it is the left from 1299 pixel stop at 10 pixel bottom it's there and from left is there means what i am trying to say it here each and anything in in a html that should be position in css we have divided a position into four part we call as static position and relative position absolute position and fixed position okay we have to spend much more time on this you have to know all these things but first we go for we have to know the static position <clears throat> by default when you add any element any element to a html the by default the position is static means it is going to display one after another okay like like this one is i am showing an example if anyone on doubt if you any just ask me okay let me first show you the example position static what i'm saying to add the element in html we need the concept of a position 
in CSS there is four type of position we are going to discuss about each and every position in depth. The first position is static position means whenever you add any of the element any of the element to the HTML the by default position is static means it is going to display one after another okay that is called the static position for adding a position that you have to use the keyword called you have to use a property called static you have to use called property called position in position it's a static it's optional if you're going to use and don't use this is the default position of a element means if you go and add any element to your html page that time all the elements are the statically position means the browser is going to define one by one after one clear means if you add any element by default is a static position there is no uh, other position by default static if you define don't define by default position is static static means it's going to display one after another <clears throat> let's go and discuss about this relative position what is relative position let me tell you what is relative position you can see this first go to this example what i did i have added two div here just example two element here this is one element this is one element once i added it should go down to this right this is one block this is one block when in case of a relative what will happen from this position from this position you can set the position of this particular element means you can see this is my top element this is my down element same way i have two elements here i have said this is your first element and second element i have set as a relative when i said any element as a relative what will happen this will position from this point only means from this point only you cannot go top of that always from this position only sorry from this position only right i'll show you the example i will show you one of the example just a second i have to go in for absolute this is called sorry relative okay this is one of the example of relative what i going to show you you can see that when if you compare this is one element this is one element but if i placed one of the element as if i add one of the element position as relative it is always going to be start the position from here okay obviously left hand side will be there but for that you have a top will start from here now the question how i can go from left because as i told each and every position as like margin you, you suppose you have a element here and you have a left you have a top you have a right and you have a bottom okay the four are the position same as if you are going to add any of the element you can see that here the left position the top position the right position and the bottom position means this element is placed here using some left right, top right and bottom okay that is the use of position to use the position we have four kind of different position property first property you already got it static one is by default static means by default going to place one after another but in case of relative what is going to happen it's just you can navigate from left top right but the position will start from here only means down of the top one okay let me show that the example <clears throat> guys it will be a little bit you have to understand all these things it's a little bit critical you have to understand let me show you the relative one okay what i did i have a two div here okay just imagine i have two div one div two div then what happened i have added two class to this div p1 and p2 position one position two then first one div i have 500 pixel width 500 pixel width and 500 pixel height and set the background color to some color the same way the p2 okay the p2 what i did i have set the width and height the background color and set the position is relative position relative means what happening i am setting the position relative means it is going to relative the position then i have set left 60 percent and top 20 percent what does mean left uh, left and top as i discuss here everything is left top right and bottom means 
this one this element is i have set left position and top position top means it's always from here top means not the browser body it's always from the top element there only let me let me say you one thing when you set the left what will happen this left means the left hand side pixel you want to add top means the top is not this top the top is top bottom of this element means this element is relative to this one means when where the places you added the div where the places you added the div the position the position is belongs to that element only okay let me say let me explain another time let me set left to 100 pixel you can see if i refresh it's going 100 percent from left let me set top to 10 pixel 0 pixel you can see okay left left to 0 pixel just example you can see what happened my top 0 0 means is not calculating the browser top always remember top is not calculating the browser top is always cal calculating just above the element top whereas in case in case of relative what will happen the top is always calculating the relative one means this is the element is placed bottom to this element right means whatever top will start it will only start the position of the first one due to that if this one is suppose 200, 200 pixel then this will going to start here only means it's always this one due to its relative it's always belongs to this first element size whenever this element going to end that is the start point of this element that is the use of position relative means this element is relative to its position means whatever the top position whatever the element you are in the top that is the starting point of this one due to that we are setting left and top means if you let 0% and top support 10 10 pixel what will happen 110 pixel what will happen it will simply give a 10 pixel distance from this top element okay that is the use of a relative okay <clears throat> let me show you another example then i'm going to ask the question the same way there is a like we have position position static then position relative let me show you one example of absolute then we will understand all these things okay what is absolute you can see that you can see this diagram this this is the relative position is always start from here right but in case of absolute is always start from top top means this position means means if you are going to add the same element here what will happen this is not going to calculate this top element end point it's always going to start from browser end start point due to that if you show one one of the example of absolute you can see that <coughs> you can see that what i did i have p1 p2 and p3 i have added and uh, p3 i have added position absolute okay but here i have added position as relative what happened here i have added the left one is 60 means this element is 60 percent le from left then i have added top as 20 percent but you can see in previous example i have added the top suppose same 20 pixel you can see this is displaying from down to this whereas if you go to absolute if i said 20 percent is not calculating the position of this element is always calculating the top of this browser window means this 20 percent the top is always calculating the top of the browser that is the basic difference between a relative and absolute in case of relative this position is relative to this element whereas this this one means in case of absolute is absolute to to the browser window okay in that case you can see if i said 20 percent what will happen it is giving 20 if you giving 20 pixel it's me giving the 20 pixel from the top whereas 
in case of in 20 pixel of this element whereas in case of absolute if you set the 20 percent it's giving the 20 percent from the top of the browser that is the main difference between absolute and relative you got the idea if i go into increase the 200 pixel what will happen it will give the 200 pixel from this top not this element okay that is the basic difference between absolute and relative anyone any question you can ask me before going to next one if you want i can explain it again also because you have to understand this position concept because all the places this is required the position one sir i have one doubt is it mandatory to grew yes, left and top uh, in absolute uh, position and relative position okay okay if you don't give if you don't give the position like left top bottom all these things the problem will be then this, this will looks like a normal div normal div means how we are showing in the case of static okay let me give one by one example we will see that one also why i am saying in the position this left right top is required let me go give an example in case of static it's not required to give left and right okay but if you don't give in relative in relative i am not giving anything let's see what's happening okay you can see it is just behave like a normal semi static the use of the use of relative and absolute actual something different like you can see it here in your side you want to place this element right hand side okay then what you can do you have to position this element right you have to set some position for that that is the use of left and top left and top and bottom it's up to you how you're going to set it okay means if you don't specify the left top right or bottom then it will go to treat as a normal div there is no difference between a relative and a static and relative and a static let me show the same thing in absolute let me remove these things if uh, <clears throat> we'll go and refresh this one you can see did you observe anything right this is just an element to set the position but the actual the position is set by the left and right always remember okay sir. right top and bottom these are the main coordinates to set the position of a div or element for that but if you want to set the left right top and bottom then you have to specify the concept of this position absolute or relative the absolute and relative is saying that where the starting point going to be start always remember this relative and the absolute is saying what is the starting point of a element it's maybe from down to this top element or it, it will be down, like uh, it will be the down to this browser uh, first window that is depend upon the position but to set the position where you want to place that is the use of concept of this left right bottom and top that is the use of this one without this this position attribute without this uh, value of left right top and bottom you cannot place the element in on you cannot place the element but you can if you going to set the position it will just looks like a dummy you, you are not going to move the element actually the main use of position means you have to move the element from one position to another position to move from one position to another position we require the concept of a left and top okay let me show we are going to design the same layout using this one suppose i want to push this element to right hand side okay then what will do then let me remove this left what i'll do i'll write right nothing happening left nothing happening okay now the concept i want to move this element from this position to this position okay what I, what is the basically i have to do i have to increase this left position right so i am giving 500 pixel then it will go from left to right sorry 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 
let me give the right to 0 pixel nothing happening left to 0 percent 0 pixel it's there if you want to put this element from there to here I need to set the left right I need to set the left it will go in from there to here for that I have to set the left position so left will be 1000 pixel 100 pixel it's going to there and there and there and there now if you're going to design this kind of UI means from left to right you want to set something then are you going to calculate the browser width and going to set the left from left from side right you, you are no you cannot set this left side right how you know that what is the browser width and what is the length of this left to right right for that we have a concept called position fixed position fixed means you can fix something from left to top means you can see that absolute and this relative is all about where the position going to start but in case of in case of a fixed position you can fix the position based on the if you're going to scroll also the position is go, always going to be fixed like this one in our site you can see that if i scroll the site if i scroll the site you can see our this 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 one is always with that position only you can see that it's not going down it's always with that position only that is the use of concept fixed fixed means you will fix the position of a div let me show you that example the fixed one okay. this is a fixed i'll show you fixed same way uh, the same way you have to do you have to set the position fixed and you have a left and you have a top you have to set the left and top what will happen let me set some data here let me set some data here I'll show you I, I have added some um, dummy data so I had some added break you can see that if I added the break the scroll bar is coming if I said the position fixed what will happen if I go and scroll scroll the data scroll scroll bar the position is always be fixed here that is the case of position fixed this is the same as your uh, absolute and all these things but the only difference is if you position as a fixed means you fix the position at any cost is not going to go down if you are going to change the page you are going to scroll the page all the time the position will be fixed let me do that i told the last example now if you specify the left then what will happen it is going to be start from the left always remember the case of position in fixed you have to remember this this these are the tricks if you specify the left what will happen it's going to start from the left if you specify the top it's going to start from the top means my position will be from left and top now i want to put this one in the bottom you know what i'll do instead of adding the top what i'll do i'll do bottom if you refresh you can see my data is now placed in bottom okay from the bottom 40 pixel I mean from the down it's going to 40 pixel up that is the advantages of a of fixed whenever you are going to use a fixed that time what will happen you are going to fix the position or the place in, in inside the browser for that reason if you're using left it's going to calculate from left if you're going to use top it's calculate from top if you don't use it's not going to calculate that one just example let me use right and what will happen it will go to right because i did not specify the left position it's always go it will only it, it's only going to calculate this right and bottom okay. that's the reason what will happen it will start from right and from the bottom from the bottom is 40 pixel and right from is the this one the 40 pixel that is the position you have to fix if you scroll if you do all the things this position is always be fixed that is the use of fixed position and what we learn 
we have learned there is four type of position in our css means in our html position is used to place a control place a control means place a element in a page to place a element in a page we required three four type of position given by a css one is static position second one is relative position third one absolute last one is fixed Static position means by default when you are adding any of the element means you are going to add any of the element in the HTML by default the position will be static. Position will be static means it's going to display one after another based on the designing. If it's a div, it's going to display block wise. If it's a span, going to display inline wise. It's the default position. If you specify, don't specify, it's going to apply the by default position is static. Okay, you got it. Next, these three are the more important thing you have to know. Second one is relative. Relative means you already know that position means what I'm trying to say it here. Position means something you want to set the coordinates, right? You want to set the coordinates. So this is a screen. In this screen, you want to set the coordinates of the element that is called position. For doing the position, we require the coordinates. Or you know that we have a left, left coordinate, top coordinate, right coordinate, and bottom coordinate, right? Means if you set anything. In, in this page, then you, you require some uh, left and top and bottom, right and bottom. Whatever the position is coming, you can place the content inside this, right? For that, we require this left, left, right, top and bottom. To set any of the position, like we have a second one, the relative position. Relative position is always relative to its parent position, parent element. Parent means this is going to add this. This is two elements added. This is this element is added down to this element for that if you set the position relative what will happen this element this element starting position always be down to down of this first element always remember the concept of a relative but if you are going to use the concept of absolute what will happen this element whereas it's going to add after this element is not going to calculate this element as its starting point it's always going to calculate the starting point to the browser top okay that is called the absolute one then the, th the last one is the fixed one fixed means if you want to fix the position in uh, your browser what will happen then if you going to scroll it's not going to affect but whereas all the things is affected by the scroll scroll means if you scroll down it will be going to set the same position only but if you are using the fixed position, what will happen? It is not going to affect it by the scroll. If you are going to scroll it also, I will let you show that. If you can do a scroll, scroll also, that always that whatever you design here, the always is constant. Okay, that is the use of fixed. Always remember when you're going to use the absolute, when you're going to use the relative, when you're going to use the fixed, it's up to you. But but in some, most of the application, they are using relative position and fixed position. Absolute, they are not using mostly. But relative and fixed, these two are the mostly common use position in all the most of the application. Like you can see that in our in our Synotech website, you can see most of the things like this is a fixed one. And if I go down, you can see that this is a fixed one. All these are same kind of position is required. But for that, instead of you learn a concept of, we instead of you learn the concept of a Z index, right? Now that is the use of Z index. Why? What is the use of Z index? Just I'm showing one example. Okay. You can see our example is relative one. Just imagine this absolute one. What we discuss is absolute. We discuss in absolute. Sorry. We discuss is absolute, right? that uh, this this div is belongs to top only now what i'll do i'll copy the same one okay, save it and let me add some style style background color okay no don't forget p4 understand the concept of uh, z index whatever we discussed yesterday p4 let me change to suppose uh, black Let me set the top to suppose um, three 
टॉप टू थ्री हंड्रेड पिक्सल यू कैन सी आई हैव टू वन पी थ्री पी फोर ओके एंड व्हाट आई डिड आई हैव सेट दिस बोथ पोजीशन हियर नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन लेट मी प्लेस दिस वन फ्रॉम दिस टॉप ऑफ दिस वन व्हाट आई डू आई विल सेट द टॉप टू टू हंड्रेड बिकॉज दिस पोजिशन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टू हंड्रेड एंड लेफ्ट टू लेट मी सेट लेफ्ट एज सपोज ट्वेंटी फाइव पिक्सल व्हाट विल हैपन यू कैन सी दैट this position this element is placed top of this down element right but my uh, requirement is okay i want to display this one first then i want to move this one last then how you can do that there is coming the concept of a z index we discussed yesterday right means this position is used to place the place the element place means how where you want to place the element but the z index is used to Set the like in, like what you want to show first, what you want to show last. That is the use of Z index. Let me set Z index to one. You can see that, guys. Clear about all these things. What is the use of Z index? I have placed these two element same row means means same style. Then what happened? Now I want by default. I told the browser is going to set the index based on the Use of all this one means this is the index one, index two, index three, index four. Means this is the just imagine this is the zero index, then this is the one index. Means this is the more power than compared to this one because this is going to add last. The same way, when I have added all this index and refresh it, you can see that this one means this black div is top of the this green one, right? This one. But what I try to do it here. i want to do i want to pull back i want to pull like i want to pull back this black to back and push this uh, green to top for that what i'll do in the p3 because i want to give in top right for that in the give uh, in this p3 i have to use z index and set as one means we are giving more importance this z index than this one okay if you refresh you can see that it's going top of this one all clear about the z index let me repeat it again position is used to set the position of a element means where you want to place the element that is called the position for a position there is a concept of left top right and bottom but z index is used to set the importance like where you want to display the like the priority of a element means to to which element you want to display top which element display the back that is the use of z index anyone any question i know that uh, yesterday you people have uh, like i know that z index you did not understand i think in this example we can able to understand the concept of a z index right what is z index now what is that this one anyone any doubt on this one all clear right then you have to understand where you need to use the concept of z index okay you can just even suppose let me set this one as z index to 1 what will happen this is going to top now i want to set let me set it to going down let me set it to 2 is always remember you have to by default z index that is no z index if you are going to set a z index you have to give the more than index compared to where you want to place the how you are going to set the priority of the element that's the reason you want to set the z index position is used to place the element z index is used to give the priority to a element which element is going to display top that is the use of z index i think i have clear all these things right anyone in doubt on this please ask me let me see anyone ping to you I think all clear, right? About this position and this Z index. Okay. Can you explain again about this absolute yes. position? Position and uh, position. The absolute position only, sir. Okay. Let me see this diagram first. Static, you got it right. By default, static. Relative means. 
the starting point of this element means I have added two elements. Let me show an example of a relative. I have added two elements div1 and div2 means after this div this is my second div. What I did in this div I added the position called relative. Before understanding the absolute you have to understand the concept of relative. Relative means what will happen this element starting point always be the end point of end of this element. Always remember yes sir by default by default when we add element the element is going to start after this element right that is the default behavior the same way the case of a relative what will happen when this element end you are going to put this element in relative means this element starting point always be the end of this element due to that you can see this see this example this is your div and the starting point you always start from down to this first one but whereas in case of absolute it is always start from the top of the screen it's not belongs to this tip that is the only one difference between absolute and position relative absolute is not going to check whatever the element you have but in case of relative it is going to check this element is the start point always start from the here only but whereas case of absolute is going to start from top only due to that you can see that in my example in my example this is relative this is absolute for this abs relative what i said whatever position i said this position for the top position is going to calculate from end of this one whereas in case of uh, absolute this position this position start from here only not here that is the only one difference you have to always remember in case of relative the position position means the starting position always start from means this is called zero here the zero one case of this absolute the, this is the zero okay in absolute this is the zero position and uh, in the relative this is the zero position from the absolute it's a zero position that is the only one basic difference there is no other difference for that but you already i explained that fixed fixed means a already a fixed there is no change of any position whenever press this one is going to fix on that one only as a clear or i don't explain it again when you actually yes, write sir. the program if you yeah if you actually go and create so i'll give, give you track today if you go and actually go and create something then you'll know that what is the use of relative what is the use of uh, absolute then you'll know that but always remember there is a concept called uh, this z index what we discuss the z the position is used to set the position of a data whereas the z index is used to set the priority of priority of element mean once you set the element to this position then you set which element going to display top and which element going to display down that is the use of z index whatever discussed yesterday same as you can see that in the slider this image z index is less than this arrow z index due to that this is going to display like in front of this image same way if you are going to dis de design any kind of this kind of application they have always remember which case you are going to use this absolute which case you are going to use fixed which case you are going to use all this you can see that this one this this is this this one what is this pain this is the one is called absolute why it's absolute because this one is going to start from here only but this one is a fixed because this is always be fixed always be fixed here but this one is going to only work this area due to that the position is always absolute when you develop an application you have to know that in which area you want to use the absolute position which area you want to design a like the relative one which are the fixed one just example if i remove this percentage you can give in pixels if i remove the percentage why 50 percent you, you can ask me why 50 percent is given here because they are calculating whole one is 100 percent this entire slide and due to 50 percent is coming as center the same way if you're going to down this one you can see that it's going top right 
that is the use of absolute position okay clear like once you do do one of the application sliding all these things then you are able to understand how this position is worked okay i know i spend much more time on that because this is a basic thing you have to know in css you have to all these things you have to know all these things about css i think i will clear all these things and i i will share one url that url you, you will go and learn about the css positioning it's giving all details i'll i'll, I'll share today if people should go and learn all about the positioning like how they you can set multiple type of position okay clear this is all about yes. our position today let's go the next one called font okay this one we discussed like last class we discussed we are going to use the font how to going to use the font let me discuss okay you know what is font font means when you are writing any text okay when you are writing any text you need the font to display example this is our site right in this site you have this text is written and you all know that suppose you are using microsoft word or you are using any of the notepad or anything whenever writing something there is some font right means hello, just i am op opening the okay. you know, i am writing hello world then you know that this is some this some kind of font so if i want to change the font i'll go to edit i will use the use the font style then i will change the font family to other things right means you know when we are discussing about any of the font there is three things comes into mind one is family one is style one is size okay let me discuss what is family style and size you have to know all these things i think already you have to know all these things but let me discuss once again let me compare with this one to this data just example family means which family you are going to apply just imagine this is some some data is apply some kind of family suppose you want to apply some different family let me show you what is family let me open the google point okay you can see that these whatever text style whatever the text style you can see that this is one of the style this is one of the style this is one of the style whatever style you are seeing right the style is called as a font family means font family means how you are going to show the font that is called font family then style style will be it's a regular style or or it's a normal style you want to decide More okay italic. that i'm going to yeah. yeah like bold or italic or like semi bold or like dark bold whatever is there you have to define the style then size means how you are going to set the size of the font font means you can imagine hello world displaying this font if you go to font and change to 12 to suppose 18 pixel if you back you can see the font is got increased right means if you increase the text size and decrease the text size then you need the concept of size always remember all the fonts whatever you are going to use in your website all the fonts is used this basic three concept one is family second one is style third one is size okay let me go and discuss about different different family and st style and size okay let me show you first one i have created one example of font let me show you the by default the font one what i did i have a uh, paragraph three paragraph and three paragraph i have added three classes p1 p2 p3 okay now what happened in the p1 class to add a font family i have used font hyphen family then what i did i have used this three type of family here like times new roman means all of you know that this is this, these are the different different font yes, name right? these are font name times new normal times and the serif one the second one ariel all these things and serif uh, like uh, all this uh, the console courier new monoscope these are different different family now you will ask me why this three require why did not use only once okay what will happen if you go and use this three then what will happen if 
something is going to miss something is going to miss means is something of this uh, style is going to miss is going to use another one okay but if something is not missed then whatever is written is going to create this entire one into combined entire one let, let me show you let me remove this one <laughs> this one save it did you say anything yes no let me remove this one did you say anything yes no did you say anything yes no let me remove all entire thing let me check the default font just a second huh? I'll show you one by one. Let me show you something. Okay. When you are going to apply font family, what will happen? The font is going to work that way. Means whatever the family you are using, the font is going to that way. If this font is not found by the system, then what will happen? Browser has its own font system. Okay. Let me show you. If you go to element and click on the body, click on the HTML. Where is there? Okay. I'll show you the default font system. Okay. You can see that if I don't use any font to any of the things by default, browser is going to give times new roman like illustrated console and arial as a default font this font is going to change based on the different different browser okay now i i'll tell you one thing if you are go and use suppose in in your mobile app in your mobile you are changing the default to default different different font of your mobile right in that case if you open your browser also the browser content also going to change according to that that is the use of this default font. If you are not using any kind of font, then what will happen? Browser is going to give a default font for you, right? For if this is going to different for based on the browser, the, dip, the different different font is going to change. The default font is going to change that is based on the browser. The same way, if you want to send the specific font, then is going to use this guy, comma, 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 comma. So why is this? yeah you have to give the font family different different name you know why these three required you know what will happen if i go and use this three then whatever font you apply the font is automatically combine this three font and give you that kind of design you can see it here you can see it here the last example you can see that if i going to remove this con like this console one if i refresh you can see the structure got changed right the, if i going to remove this one and going to do this mono mono space you can see if i refresh you can see that the data got changed it means what will happen if you're going to apply multiple fonts then browser automatically combine this form combine all these things and give you the data according to that this is the use of different different font of you means if you want to use if you want to change any of the font of your text or of your element then you have to use the concept of a font family okay that is the basic one like this one font family you can see we have a list of font family here that is predefining the predefining the system based on that it's going to work i'll I, I'll, I'll going to say how we are going to use the custom font family i'll discuss on that just imagine if you want to use any font family you have to use this tag called font family tag okay the second one is styling <clears throat> let me go for style if you go for style 
let me open the style okay let me go for style the style what is defining here it's a normal style or italic style i am not talking about bold and all these things bold will come here to apply a style you have to use the font style tag means font style you are going to display in normal or you are going to display italic if you are going to apply the normal then it is going to behave as it is if you are going to apply the italic it does displaying the italic style but if if you want to change the text into bold suppose you want to change text into light bold or dark bold there is a concept called font weight okay what is font weight let me show you font weight font weight means font style font weight both are equal I means these these both are coming under this style property only but the difference is that you two separate tag for that for font style you have to use the font style tag for font weight you have to use the font weight okay let me show you you can see that here the font i have four paragraph is here okay four content is here now what i did for four i have going to display the this all the data in different different uh, different different weight for that i have a normal weight light weight thick weight thicker weight okay what is the thick and thicker the font weight is normal means you are not going to apply any kind of bold on that the same way font weight is lighter if you can see these two has little bit difference both are looks like equal but you can see that this is little bit darker is as compared to this one okay the same way if you are going to apply the bold then you have to apply this as font weight equal to bold suppose you want to apply more bolder then you have to use font weight as 900 or you can use bolder Open. it is just a little bit bolder actually we are not able to see that because our browser is displaying the both bold and bolder in equal way for that reason we are not using but suppose you want to change this is a default bold right but what you want to do you want to give little bit less darker and little bit more little bit less darker and give little bit more darker in between this how can you add that for that what you will do, you have to do that is a concept called parameter, you can 100 to 900. That is a parameter is there, the value is there, you can set the bold thickness, means you can see that. Imagine, this is one kind of bold, right? You want a little bit less bold, you want another little bit less bold. For that reason, what happened in CSS, there is a concept called 100 to 900. This is the parameter if you set suppose 400 suppose 500 let me set it 400 you can see that this is little bit darker than this one you actually you cannot see it here if you do if, if you're going to apply from 100 to 900 you can see that what is the difference between each and everyone it's going to just decrease some uh, like dark and going to less some dark that is the use of value you can use bold that is the default one is going to display as a bold but suppose you want to change the bold size suppose you want to decrease the bold size you want to increase the bold size then you can go from 100 to 900 that is the use of bold all these things got it means in the bold we have all these things you can use based on your requirement but you have to always remember to get to set a font as bold you have to use the font weight equal to bold okay that is going to set the font as a bold simple one okay the final one is size okay font size means we discuss about this one the font size how to set the size as i told to set a size we require the concept of unit right unit means we are de designing all the things in uh, like all the pixel or it's in like percentage for that if you are going to set the size you have to use the tag called font size the font size is used to set the size of a font then font size then you have to use whatever the size you want to give you want to give 14 pixel you want to give 50 pixel 80 pixel 90 pixel based on that it's going to work the size right it's, it's displaying 90 pixel then what we discuss today we discuss how to set a font family then we'll discuss how to set a style in italic or like you want to set the bold or bolder or light bolder thicker whatever you want to do you have to set the bold style then we for size we'll discuss 
how to set a different different size it may be based on the requirement you want to going to set the size okay then the last one uh, okay let me finish the last one let, okay the last one is font means as i discuss if you go to font one you can see that these all are the system defined font means it's already we have right but my uh, requirement is i want to develop a application in that application i want to use my own font okay as of now what i did i have created one file that file is going to use some google font why google font because to create a font is very difficult okay and i am going to use the google font to access the google font you can go to google font you can click it here and you can here either is a code is here just a second download a family also here you can download the family otherwise you can go and use the font link directly okay just a second okay here if you go and select one of the font what will happen it it, it will give you how to use this font okay same way what i did i have i have one font i want to use suppose this is one of the font this is like a Sophia font I am using in our uh, page. How can you go and use a Google font in your application? For that, what you'll do, you'll go and uh, as I told, there is a link tab. Okay, link tab. Initial days we learn about link tab to attach the um, this one. This the uh, yeah the fab icon. The same way, right? The same way. We have used the relation equal style sheet. Okay, means I have to link something. The relation is style sheet, and href means the path of the font. I am setting the path of the font. Okay, then what will happen? The same way, what I said in the body, the font family will be Sophia. Okay, now what will happen? Once you load the page, by default, the browser is going to download this font and change the entire body family to uh, to Sophia. Then you can see that. If anything I'm adding here, what will happen? It's going to display in different, 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 different form. That is the use of external font use. Then what I learn? How we can use the external font in your application? Okay, that is the whole about today's class. Any any, any doubt on this font? Sir, if you I don't have internet connection, then it will not load, right? No, no first of all if you don't have internet connection the site is not going to open okay uh, that is the but but that is another condition if you're developing the local right if you're developing the mm -hmm. local application like suppose you are developing the application that is the case if you're going to use this kind of font you need a uh, active uh, like internet connection if the, this is not there this sans service is going to apply by default that is the use of this is called fallback fallback means if this is not there then it is going to work on this one. If this is not there, this is going to work on another one. That is the use, uh, region. This is the local one, right? Yeah, this is the local one. Sans serif is the local one. Yes, sir. Local one. If Sophia is not going to load, then sans serif is going to work. Let me show you one thing. Here, what I'll do, I'll go to network and I'll disable the network offline. Okay. I refresh it. Actually, it's working. You can see it. You can see it right that font is not loaded because there is no network due to that, that is not loaded yeah there is for that reason it's going to apply the sans serif that is the use of fallback concept like it's going to first work on this if this is not found then going to work on this if this is not found also then by default browser font family what is applied there it's going to work is there that is the basic use of the font okay I know that I am taking much more time today, but this is an important topic. We have to cover all these things.